Well, there's big breaking news in the newspaper the president loves to hate tonight, perhaps not so much tonight. The Washington Post's Carol Lennig and Robert, uh, Robert Costa reporting that special counsel Mueller has briefed the president's legal team and told them he does not, and I repeat, not consider him a criminal target at this point. Lennig and Costa are attributing it to three people familiar uh, with the discussions. They report that in talks early last month about a possible presidential interview, Mr. Mueller described the president as a subject of the probe. The question is, what's the distinction? Joining us for that is CNN chief legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin and CNN legal analyst Carrie Cordero. So, Jeff, this news that, that, that Mueller is continuing to investigate President Trump but does not consider him a criminal target rather a subject of his investigation, what is the difference? Well, in federal law enforcement, there are three categories of witnesses. There are targets who are almost certainly going to be charged, going to be indicted. There are witnesses who are just people whose information is of, of, of value to the prosecutors. And in between the two, there is something called a subject. That is someone who is under investigation, but who may or may not be charged. Trump is a subject. And I don't think that's particularly good news for him. I mean, it's a big deal to be under criminal investigation by the FBI, particularly if you're president of the United States. This has been implicit in th what the, it, the Mueller investigation has been doing. But this confirmation that the president is under criminal investigation, I mean, that's a pretty profound thing to think about. And, and Carrie, according to the Washington Post reporting, to the point that Jeff just made, uh, some of the president's attorneys have told him that's part of the danger of him sitting down for an interview, that you can go from being uh, a subject uh, to actually a target pretty quickly. Well, one could, depending on the outcome of that interview. So certainly being a subject, they shouldn't be cracking any, open any champagne in the White House if he's a subject of an investigation, as Jeffrey just described. Um, there is certainly risk of him sitting down for an interview, although it's really difficult at this point to see a path forward for this investigation, both in terms of its look at the Russian influence on the election and any potential uh, cooperation or knowledge on behalf of the campaign and the obstruction piece, it's hard to see how it will conclude without the president at some point being interviewed by the investigative team. Well, but but the, Jeff, in, in, in a normal yeah. circumstance, a subject would simply take the fifth, would simply say, I mean, most lawyers would advise a subject of an investigation don't talk under any circumstances. Now, the question, of course, is can the president of the United States take the fifth? I think he can. I think he can just denounce the investigation and say this is a witch hunt. I'm not participating. I don't know what the political fallout of that is, but I think it's entirely possible he just will simply refuse to will refuse this interview. Kerry, I mean, according to the reporting, Mueller is still pushing hard, obviously, to to interview uh, President Trump to both determine if the president had any corrupt intent. And that's why he feels this uh, this interview is so important, that he needs to figure out the intent uh, behind some of Mr. Trump's actions. Certainly. And on the obstruction piece in particular, his specific, the intent that he personally had is really important to that investigation because, of course, it's actions that he took, statements that he made over the course of approximately a year that potentially could put together the case for obstruction. So on that piece in particular, um, he probably has the most exposure, but also his statements or what he has to say about his intent is also the most relevant to that piece of the investigation.